The building that contains Ford's Theater on 10th Street in Northwest Washington actually began its life as a church in the 1830s. Uh, John Ford, a successful theater owner and businessman, transformed it at the beginning of the Civil War into a working theater. Then in the middle of the war, there was a fire here. He invested a lot of money in major renovations, and Ford's new theater opened in 1863. It was a successful, uh, popular destination. The president came here, and of course he was here in April of 1865. Now that theater was temporarily closed after the assassination. It was a crime scene. Uh, but then the government handed the theater back to John Ford and he made plans to reopen it and uh, conduct plays. Now that created the backlash. Some people thought it was inappropriate to have more drama and theater here at that time, especially in the immediate aftermath of the killing. And so the government purchased the building uh, and turned the former theater into a kind of office space for decades after the Civil War. It served various departments in the government as office and warehouse space. But then in the 1890s, there was a tragedy. A floor fell and nearly two dozen people died as a result. And then the government essentially abandoned the building or used it as a warehouse. And for decades, uh, in the 20th century, uh, there was a debate about what to do with it. There was a, a, a plan, a movement, to try to restore Ford's Theater and make something powerful out of it. Uh, and that plan finally culminated in the late 1960s, when Ford's Theater was reborn as a working theater after 1968, and a historic site that would be paired in tandem with the Peterson House, where Lincoln died across 10th Street.